Thank you. Thank you. Biodiesel Co-op. My name is Arnie Vinio and I have this uh, 1983 Mercedes station wagon. It's a 300 TD diesel station wagon and I converted this to run on waste vegetable oil. So uh, in addition to running straight biodiesel in the summer, I run um, vegetable oil from restaurants. So I have three major suppliers that I use. I use um, Big Daddy's Burgers up in Piedmont. Every Saturday my son and a friend of his go for breakfast and we pick up our oil there. Uh, Nick Lowe's restaurant, family restaurant in Cloquet. Nick Marcus is totally supportive of this. And the clip joint in Alborn, Minnesota. This is the secretary where I work. And she brings the, her oil in every couple of weeks. And also, um, trying to be even socially responsible about that, Woodland Hills Juvenile Center also gives me vegetable oil. So on Tuesday I pick that up from them. And uh, so this is it. And Um, let's start in the back over here. Lots of glare and whatnot. So the, the main tank is right here. So these, these tanks are full of, these cans are full of biodiesel. So I run 100% biodiesel in summer. I drained all the oil out of this thing and put AMS oil in here so it's synthetic. The transmission is synthetic and I pumped all the grease out of the wheel bearings and that's synthetic grease too. So there's no petroleum products in this car except for the power steering fluid so far and I'm getting rid of that next. So, this is waste vegetable oil in here. Smell that. Mm. Smell that. So, um, so this is, this is vegetable oil that's from used restaurant fryer oil, and I settle it for two to four weeks, and to let the french fries and all the fats and everything settle out, and then I pour it through filters into a, um, into a 30 gallon, and I have to move to a 55 gallon barrel now, and I, I threw, and I, I filter it initially through blue jean pants legs that I sewed shut. Yeah. And, that, and that filters it out to about, once they're theoretically five microns or so. And, um, and then from there I pump it through two filters into jugs like this and I pour it into the tank and I filter it one more time. So this is a heater that goes in here. So this, this takes the, the um, engine coolant, mm -hmm. I tapped out the heater line, and it says in right here. So this is the hot line coming in. And this copper tube right here, gets really hot. It gets to 180 degrees. So this is filled with engine coolant. And then the return line comes back out. So that line goes all the way to the bottom of this tube. And that tube is is, is a closed tube on the end. And then the, the coolant return line comes back here and goes back to the engine. This one in the back is the fuel line. That goes all the way through that copper tube and it sticks out about that far in the bottom. And it's about that far from the bottom of the tank. So if I get any water in there, the water settles to the bottom. And theoretically I don't pick that up. So um, so that's it. So these lines are all tied together. So, and the main thing for running waste vegetable oil is to try to you either make biodiesel out of it, you thin it so the injector pump can spray it by taking the triglycerides out of it, by, take, by making glycerin basically, and that's what biodiesel is, or you heat it to thin it so the injector pump can spray it. And 160 degrees is what my target is, and the engine runs at 180, so that's pretty easy to hit. And I've got um, probably about 5,000 miles in the system and it runs better on waste vegetable oil than it runs on, on anything. The biodiesel is better than diesel and the waste vegetable oil is the best and the quietest. So, um, so those lines run up to the front and I have the, a lot of people run their lines underneath the car. I ran mine inside so I can do this really high tech system of checking my temperature. I just reach down and I feel these hoses. So, when, and I don't really even have to do that anymore. I have a vacuum gauge here, so and that's teed in so I can keep track of how hard the, the suction pump is pulling through the filters. And 
I can tell when my filters are starting to plug by if that gauge starts to climb, if it takes more and more negative pressure to do that. So those lines run through there up into the dash. There's a switch on the other side and it's just a little electric switch that I push to switch it to waste vegetable oil. So up here, I teed off the, the heater line over there and there's a hose that comes up right here and this hose comes into this, again, it's one of these copper tubes. And this copper tube right here, this coolant, it, it, it ends right here and it picks up right here so this whole tube fills with hot coolant. And this is, even right now, it's pretty hot. And then so, and it comes out here, and then this hose wraps around this filter. So this filter, this hose right here to right here is wrapped around here, that's 15 feet long. So it heats this filter, and this filter is hot if you feel it. You know, this is warm. So, and it, so this is where my waste vegetable oil is in here, and we'll go through that too. But, so then it goes back, and then that's the hot line for the tank, and then this is the return line comes back into the system. The fuel comes up through here, and this fuel line goes all the way through this tube and it, and it heats, it picks up heat from the coolant so, and it's copper so it really it picks up heat fast. It, it loops around, it goes back through, it heats a second time and it comes back out over here and it comes back, it loops around and it comes back through and it heats a third time and then it comes into the filter. Back here is just the thing I use for getting rid of air. So it's the highest point, I pick that up and I can drain, I can bleed all the air out of that system. And um, so then it comes through this filter, so the, the vegetable oil, and it comes up to the switching valve right here. So that there, I have an electric switch on the dash, and when I, when I flip this over, then it's running on waste vegetable oil. So this is the decision point between biodiesel and waste vegetable oil. So, and then right here, this line runs up, and then and I had to re-plumb everything, all the factory stuff, because I'm using two separate fuel systems in one pump. So now, um, down here, there's a, a thing called the lift pump, and it pumps it up through the, um, it basically pumps it right into the, the injector. And so diesel engines were built to run on peanut oil. Um, when Rudolf Diesel developed that engine in the late 1800s, um, that's it, when he unveiled it at the World's Fair. He said peanut oil and started this engine. But then big business took it over and they converted it to, to petroleum products. And, and it, runs, it runs better on vegetable oil than it does on the other things. And diesels are pretty forgiving. This thing will run on transmission fluid or um, so a lot of people will, will, you know, when they fill this filter, initially when they're bleeding things, put transmission fluid in there, and, and because it kind of, supposedly it cleans the injectors, but it'll run on it just fine. So, um, so that's basically it. I get 25 gallon, miles to the gallon, whether I'm running biodiesel, diesel, or waste vegetable oil. Um, there's no loss of power that I can tell. And um, it smells like french fries.